Sorry that I was absent on Friday. The whole family was sick, including myself, and I was taking care of everyone while I was even sick, so the video just wasn't going to happen. But I decided to do a video today about um, just like pretty much my entire kitchen section. I'm gonna go through each cabinet and the pantry and everything and show you how I organize because January is most of the time when people like declutter and reorganize and get prepped for the year for them. If you're interested in watching today's video, then follow along. So one of my top most asked questions would be how we keep our kitchen so clean, and that is pretty much just keeping up with it. So when you clean it, make sure you keep up with it. If you have dishes, we do our dishes every night, we make sure they're ready to go. We either hand wash them and let them dry and then we put them away in the morning, or we set our dishwasher on like a delayed mode and it'll wash while we're sleeping, and then when I wake up, I put the dishes away. Um, sometimes, depending on how bad my OCD is, sometimes I'll hand wash them, dry them, and then put them away, but it just all depends. You just have to keep up with it. So even if you leave one dish in the sink, it's going to just build up because you're like, okay, one dish, I'm gonna have to do two anyways, you know? So you kind of just like, it builds up. So you have to keep up with it just to tell yourself, do it and get it done, and then when you wake up in the morning, your entire kitchen is clean, and when you sit down and watch TV at night, you can relax, turn your brain off, because your entire kitchen is clean. And if your house is set up like ours, you can see our kitchen from our living room area because it's all nice and open, so we like to keep this entire section really clean. And people are like, when they come over, they're always like, oh my gosh, your house is so clean, but it's probably only because you have company. Um, no, I keep it like this all the time because that's the way I am, that's the way my brain can relax, I can relax, and I just love it that way. So if you follow us on Instagram, you saw that I cleaned out my cabinets the one day. I don't know why I didn't record, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you all that now. And if you follow us, you've also seen that we got a new addition to our kitchen. It's our new table. I think it looks great in here and it really like ties this entire room together. It's super large and you can like tell how big the room is, but this also has a leaf in it right now and if you take this middle part out, you squish it together and it goes into like a small little round circle table, which is really cute. But if you follow us on Instagram, you already know that. Let's get started. I'm gonna start over here. Pretty much everyone has a junk drawer, right? I, this is one of like my secrets, but I kind of keep like a, junk cabinet section um so when we have like stuff sitting out or if someone's coming over really quick i'll put everything in here and mason's not so neat and organized and clean like i am so for example this is our um junk cabinet pretty much this is like all of lila's supplies for when she's sick or when she needs medicine and this is like extra um hand sanitizer and lotion for outside SPF sunscreen, whatever you wanna call it. And then down here, as you can see, like he has his glasses and this hat, cause something that's left out, I'll just shove it in there really quick. So like today I was doing the video and he had his glasses and his hat sticking out, so I just put it right in there. Now this side, I try to keep clean because it is our cups. So if company comes over, I want it to be neat when I open this side and they have to get a cup out. But I also got rid of a lot of cups try to keep it to like a minimal so a lot of empty shelf space which is fine for me I like it it makes me feel neat and clean and organized and then underneath here is our coffee bar I always keep this stocked that's just one of my things of keeping up with your kitchen and making sure it's nice and full makes it look clean complete um, and I want to tell you something else about this but let me go into here first these are our two junk drawers this is I mean, it's kind of not junky, but this is our tech drawer, so I'll keep my computer and stuff. We do have our home office now, which is great, but I like having my computer nice and handy because sometimes I don't get to go in there with Lila, and I can just grab it and work on my stuff at the kitchen table or something like that. And then this one is our other drawer, which we keep our sunglasses. I have a little few of like tools and supplies. I have coupons right now that I have to use, so I keep those out. And then like our pens and matches and stuff like that. And that's that junk drawer. So, my coffee bar, I love it. 
I mean, we do drink coffee every day, but I want to convert this. It's probably gonna look a little bit more junky when I do convert it, but I think it'll be a little bit more functional and it'll help me in the long run, save on money and supplies and stuff like that. So it's gonna kind of be like a little hobby of mine and a project that I'm gonna do, so stay tuned for that. That'll be a whole separate video. And this will be transformed. Now, underneath of the coffee bar, I like to keep um, my bags handy right here so I can just grab them and run out the door. When I keep my purse down there, my diaper bag, whatever you want to call it, it hides it and it's out of the way and you can't see it anywhere. So it keeps it nice and clean. And then over here, I have more bags. <laughs> I actually just got this bag. It's amazing. It's my new diaper bag. But I also keep some supplies for when I sell stuff online. And then I have like my trays and stuff under here for when I host a party or something like that. And that is all that is in that cabinet. Everyone has this nice little cabinet above the fridge that nobody can reach. I keep that completely empty because you can't reach it. So I don't wanna have to get out my ladder and it not be functional. It's not functional, so I don't use it. But if you lack kitchen storage and don't have as many cabinets as I do, this spot is always great for stuff that you don't use all the time, so like my platters and stuff. If I didn't have that shelf underneath, I would stick it up there. Now across from here is another drawer and cabinet in uh, the island, which is really nice because it gives you that extra space that you need. I keep this drawer is our Disney drawer and Lila's potty snacks, and for Disney as well, for grabbing her to sit in her stroller. <laughs> But I also keep some um, tools and supplies that I kind of use all the time, so like batteries and nails and stuff. Someone actually told me that batteries catch on fire without like a battery holder. I've never had any problems. I don't know what that means, but I keep them like this. Um, and then our magic bands and our Disney towels, stuff like that. So we can just grab our magic bands, grab my bag, and then we are out the door. The reason why I keep some supplies in here that I use all the time is because under here I have um, our tools, change, supplies for our vacuum, and an extra, well, a couple extra bags in case I need them for stuff. I feel like now that I'm looking at it, I have a lot of bags and I should probably get rid of some, but this is functional and it works, so it's good. So now we can move on to the fridge. One of our new goals is to not be as wasteful, so we're trying to use up what we have, and then when we do buy stuff, we're trying to just be mindful of stuff that we'll use and stuff that won't get wasted, so we don't have to throw anything out. It is really hard, but we've been doing good so far. Um, so let's take a look in our fridge. Now, we have company over, company, <laughs> that's my mom and dad, but, we normally have a lot less than this because Mason and I don't really like drink and snack all that often. But um, we just got a ton of these drinks that they sent us. They're pretty good. And I keep Lila's milk and her juice on hand and ready to go when she needs it. Um, we normally keep like some sort of dip in here. We have some veggies and some fruit. And then Mason will get his creamer for his coffee. We always have two things of milk because Lila drinks a ton of milk. So I like to have one that we're using and then an extra one behind as long as the date is like enough forward. We have orange juice. We normally don't have orange juice, but we've been sick, so we needed a lot of vitamin C. And in our drawers, I keep this side, my meats and cheese. So this is all of our um, deli meats and cheeses. Like I said, we have a lot more because my mom and dad are here. And then over on this side, I like to keep our fruits and veggies. We just have some lettuce, pepper, and some onions. Walmart gave us way too many onions when we did our online pickup order, so hopefully we'll be able to use those up. Definitely use them up, because I don't want to throw them away. And over here, we have pickles, pepperoncinis. Mason likes to keep those on hand for a snack. Always have Taco Bell hot sauce for anything. And then we have a few dressings some garlic, we use garlic all the time, so this is always in our fridge. Mayonnaise and ketchup are always in our fridge, as well as some Parmesan cheese, barbecue sauce, and it's just another barbecue sauce. Mason prefers bullseye, and I kind of prefer sweet baby rays, so we'll mix those together. And then on this side, 
Um, I'm trying to use this up first. These are Lila's snacks. I like to keep them on this side, but before I go and buy more, I want her to eat that one and the ones that we have in the pantry. It's her milk that she drank the other day. And then up here we just have our butter, some sour cream, lemon and lime juice, and that is pretty much it for our fridge. And then we have our leftovers too. Whenever we have leftovers, we never throw them away. I know everyone's different, but we keep ours and we like to eat it for lunch, breakfast, or dinner, again, whatever. Yesterday, Mason made us some chili and we had a ton leftover because it was just him and I and Lila only eats a little bit, you know? So we packed it away and we literally had it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then lunch again. <laughs> we made some different stuff for that so it wasn't all the same. Now let's go into our freezer. So I think I mentioned before this fridge is really bad when you have toddlers because they can get into it so easily. But this side, like I said, it's kind of empty because we're trying to use up everything we have before we buy more. We have some shrimp and some ground turkey, and then we always keep veggies on hand, so we have some cauliflower and cauliflower tots, more cauliflower rice, Lila's popsicles, and here we have just some frozen lunches, the little tacos, and these are like little Chinese dumplings. And then down here we have more veggies. We always try to put our veggies with our meal because Lila needs them and we love our veggies. Then over here, I'm trying to clean out this candle so I can use this as a jar. That's really good to reuse it. Um, we had an extra deli meat, so I stuck it in the freezer, and that'll fall out really good. I keep this cooler in here, and then I keep all of our ice packs. Going through it now, I really seriously feel like a bag hoarder, but this is a cooler bag. It has ice packs inside of it, so that is uh, justified. In here, we have some more cauliflower rice. This is actually, um, chicken fried rice and then we have some green beets. Lily eats green beets for dinner so we get the frozen ones and they last forever. And then we have some Texas toast which is not ours. We keep that for my parents. And then Lila's chicken nugget and that is all for the freezer. Now when we make our meals, if we have something but it's like not a complete meal, we'll go out and just get that one thing to make it a meal. But I think we have enough in there to like throw stuff together. So I think we'll be fine for the next few weeks. Now into our pantry. I recently uh, went in and threw away a lot of food and there was like two trash bags full of expired or stale food and it just made me sick and that's one of the reasons why we're trying to do like a no waste kind of thing. On here I keep our little board so I know when Mason has a business trip or something like that. But in here I have our OXO containers. They're really not that great which is why there's some empty. I recently emailed them to see like what was up because they don't really keep the food that good for that long. Um, things like brown sugar and regular sugar and flour is normally fine. I haven't had any problems with like chocolate chips. The most that I have problems with is like the goldfish and stuff. I don't know. Anyways, this is Lila's little um, cup container, more cups for her snacks. And then this is chips and crackers. Down here, I keep more of Lila's snacks. So this is her little teething crackers and some puffs. And then in here we have some goldfish. I like keeping these on hand because these are really nice to just throw in your bag whenever you're going somewhere or if we're going to Disney. And then Rice Krispie treats for her. Her milk, this is chocolate and strawberry milk. And in here this is about to be trash, but Pop Pop left her some cheese balls. Down here we also have some veggie sticks, some more goldfish. And then this is kind of like miscellaneous snacks. We have some raisins, some graham crackers, some little fruit cups, and some little chocolate things. This is what I had left over that is still good that we are trying to use up before we buy anything else. And then in here we have Lila's refillable M&Ms, some candy of mine, some jello I like to keep on hand, and some marshmallows. I like keeping my vacuum in here because it's tucked away and there's still plenty of space. Plus, when you need it all the time, you're always kind of like in this general area. So it's nice to just grab and start running it. Down here, we have some peanut butter and honey vinegar, the extra ketchup and barbecue sauce. We buy those kind of in bulk at BJ's or Costco or something like that. So we always have those on hand. Over here, we're trying to use up these protein shakes, have some Powerades from when we were sick, and uh, stocked up on applesauce. 
This is Mason's little basket for his smoker. And then this is um, blender stuff. Over here, I just have this as like a pop chef thingy that you can like cut out the fruits and vegetables in different shapes. This is some tools for the grill. And then I also keep my steam mop in here, same reason as the uh, vacuum. Some paper towels. I don't really use paper towels very often. I don't like using them. I have flower sack towels that I use that I'll go into a little bit later, but I use those as my paper towels. But I need to keep these on hand because Lila's potty training, so if she pees or something, these are nice to just soak it up really quickly. And then this is our cooler for when we're going to the water parks or the pool. I keep this in here as well. Moving up on this side, we have our Keurig pods and some drinks. That's my mom's. This up here, we like to keep rice and pasta on hand because that's always a quick and easy meal. I always have tuna fish because that's another quick and easy lunch. Some extra sauce and some fruit. And then over here, we have green beans, some pizza, some quinoa, and wraps, and then popcorn. Up here, we have some more miscellaneous snacks, breakfast things. So, um, Mason can just grab them and go for breakfast. There's oatmeal and some Nutri-Grain bars. These are really good. These Nature Valley biscuits with the almond butter, I love them. We have peanuts for snack, always on hand in the little packs, because again, they're nice and easy to grab for whatever you need. I keep my baggies over here and got a good coupon deal on the peanuts, so that's why we have extra of those. Trash bags, same thing, we're stocked up on trash bags because of couponing. And then we usually have like one or two cereals. I don't like to buy more because you know how you like want to taste everything, you know? So I try to keep just one or two so we use them up and they don't go stale and we don't have to throw them away. And then in this one, I just have um, flavored water and juice packs in there. So that is our pantry. <laughs> Now moving on to this whole section. So this is pretty much just like your basic stuff. In here, I keep our bowls, our little tools, and some containers. I swapped all of our plastic containers out for the glass containers because of all the stuff that plastic is causing now. Um, we wanted to make sure that we didn't have any of those problems. So we are a glass family now which is not very good because if you drop it, it breaks, but whatever, it works. And then here is just our um, spoons, whatever you wanna call it, our mixing tools. Got some wine stoppers, our mixer, some kebab things. I'm trying to use these up because we have these metal reusable kebabs, which are nice. And then we have our pot and pan holders. And then in this bottom one, I like to keep our pots and pans that we need. Above the microwave, we keep our spices. I had to organize this because Mason is like in love with his spices, so we have a ton of them. But those are like doubles that we have, which is ridiculous because when you're at the store, you can never remember if you have the spice. You're like, well, let me just get it because I don't want to have to go back out to the store. So that's all doubles. So that's like, he knows not to touch that, you know? And then sprinkles that we don't really use that often, baking powder, baking soda. Down here is stuff that we use because it's a little bit more like reachable and handy. So we have our cooking spray and all of our seasoning. And I just store them in this little thing which keeps it nice and organized. And that one looks great. I know some people use this as storage. I don't like using underneath of it because it's just another cabinet that I don't want filled. Over here, we have our plates and bowls. This is very minimal. Lila's and then ours. This is my magic bullet blender that we use a lot for smoothies and stuff like that. And then up there, I keep our china. And then below it, we keep our silverware. This is our china silverware, so our nice fancy stuff and our um, measuring cups some straws. I'm trying to get rid of these paper straws, but they are paper, which is nice, so it doesn't harm the animals. We like our reusable straws better. These are actually really hard for Lila to drink out of because she like doesn't understand them, and when she bites them, they kind of like start to disintegrate. But 
that's it for that drawer. And then under here, simple again, we have a couple of um, baking dishes and our pan. I really like the, po the copper one. I have a copper one and a regular one. I'm probably gonna replace the regular one soon. But, and then our um, panini or quesadilla, whatever you wanna call it, a little grill maker thing. And then our crock pot. And then from here, across the way, we're gonna go into this little section, which is like our sink and stuff. So our sink's right here. We like to use this drawer as our little towel drawer. So we, like I said, we don't use paper towels. We use our flour sack towels. I love the material of these, um, but we use these in replace of our paper towels. Um, this is one of my tips on our ways that we save money, but I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that, so if you're interested in learning more, just check out that video when it comes out. But anyways, these are our little hand towels, and then down here I like to keep our bigger towels and um, our cleaning rags and stuff like that. And then I also have some extra light bulbs in there. Over here, I keep my trash can underneath my sink. I don't know why, I know a lot of people find that weird, but it's just like what my family does. My grandmother's done it, my mom's done it, so I grew up like that. It keeps it out of the like sight of everything, because even when you open the pantry, like you can still see a trash can. Or if you go into the laundry room, you still see the trash can. We don't like seeing the trash can, so we stick it under here. And then I'll keep some cleaning supplies over here. I just have a little basket, and there's some stuff back there. But that's it for that cabinet. And then in here, I'll keep our cutting boards because we like to use this whole big space for um, working and cutting up our food and stuff. So that's nice and handy to just grab it out of there and start chopping or cutting right here. That's pretty much it. We have one more cabinet left, which is on the other side of the island. This is completely empty because I just recently cleaned it out. And then this one down here is Lily's cabinet. So I'll keep her treats. There's some pee pads for if we go out for a really long time, I'll leave that down because she's paper trained. And her leash, her food, her treats, her little bones for when we go out. And then back there in that bag is like her little dress up clothes that she loves. <laughs> so this is her dedicated cabinet. So. That pretty much concludes our little kitchen cabinet tour. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoy seeing inside all of our cabinets. I hope you get some ideas from doing it. I hope you go organize your kitchen as well and hope that you'll be able to get rid of some stuff, organize your cabinets and not worry about if you have empty spaces. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing some tips and tricks in the upcoming videos, how we save money and what we do and stuff like that. And I'll also reveal my little coffee bar what I'm gonna do with that so just make sure you stay tuned like and subscribe we love you guys keep it blissful bye